Welcome to Kyle's Film Garage. Now, I know that you know that the Waddles Mansion is haunted. I did a video about that. That'll be at the end screen of this, or it's in the playlist. So go check that out. The Waddles Mansion is a haunted, but that's not what we're doing today. Today, we're gonna go see what's behind the Waddles Mansion, which is the Japanese garden, and I'll show you how to get there. So let's get right to it. Okay, so first, how do you get to the Waddles Mansion? Well, that's really easy. So we're on Hollywood Boulevard right now, walking west from the Strip. So I'll show you in a second. So we are walking west on Hollywood. This is Sierra Bonita Avenue, 1700 North. It is right at the 7523 Sierra Vista Apartments. There is no vacancy there, so do not call that number asking if there is. So, we are gonna make a right on Sierra Bonito. Now, we're gonna cross the street because that's the direction it goes in, and there's something really cool up here on, on our left-hand side, and I'll show you that in a second. So we're walking up Sierra Bonita right now. It's it's a pretty good incline so you know you get your workout in and you get to go see stuff so that's the cool part about these walks all right so the cool thing that i was going to tell you about which is on our left is this garden so this garden basically you get to have a space and it costs money but you get to have a space and you get to part you get to plant whatever you want so you have all kinds of stuff all kinds of like vegetables and fruits and flowers and and i see the people that it just becomes kind of a a place of tranquility for people so cool like you have all your own little the people do all their brick work and stuff like that you got your little you got your fences and and then you make, you know, well, this one is there's nothing in it but boxes. So everyone kind of does their own thing, but it's just super cool. I'll see if they have a sign over here in just a second so I can tell you what it is. By the way, I am Kyle. I'm an actor and producer of independent film and documentaries and short films and stuff like that. So this channel is hopefully one day going to pay for those things. So. If you want to know more about me, you can check in the description some of the films that I've done and how you can support me and this channel for keeping independent film alive because while I am in Hollywood, I am not part of that machine of big money and Hollywood. I am just a dude that makes things. So, you know, help the dude out. Subscribe, join the channel, two bucks. You can buy me a coffee like the videos, comment on them. It's all appreciated. So thank you so much for being here. Now let's keep going on this walk, shall we? After you do the liking and stuff like that. Yeah, so got orange trees. Got a few orange trees on this particular tranche of land. But look at that. I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't. But uh, they built like a little a little house, a little fort, if you will. All right, so where are we, Kyle? So as we come to the top of Sierra Bonita and Franklin Avenue, so Franklin and Sierra Bonita is where we are. And this big, giant, beautiful house has been owned by a bunch of famous people and it's being renovated now. And uh, yeah, super cool. Let's see if I can get you an address and you can look that up. All right, we have an address, 7529 Franklin Avenue. It is private property. There is no trespassing, so we're not doing any of that. 
but it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at those the Greek columns and whatnot. Such a such a Louisiana house. Love it. Love it. But to our left is where we're going. And that is the Waddles Mansion. So remember, there's a video about the story of Waddles Mansion in my playlist, and it'll be on the end screen of this video. But that's the Waddles Mansion on top of that hill. And this right here is the entrance to the garden. You got your trails and see see all the hoses. So you got hoses like everywhere. Yeah, super cool. So I was looking for a sign or something that would say exactly what this is or how to get in touch with them. But what you can do, just look up the Garden by Waddles Mansion and something will come up about this place. All right, so we're walking up the road Actually, I'm going to go ahead and get up on this grassy part, but this is the Waddles Mansion. Super cool, way old, old place. I think one of the first mansions built here in Hollywood. So this is the view from the Waddles Mansion. You got your clouds coming in. Oh, look at that. I think I see actually rain in the distance because we have like three days of heavy rain coming in. One of those, uh, whatever you call it, the river, rain rivers, atmospheric river flow or, or whatever. Words that describe heavy rain coming in from the Pacific. We got a guy up here playing the guitar. That's super cool. I'm Lenny Love Jr. And if you want to holla at me or give me a little tip today, much needed, uh, you might be able to find me on Zelle or Cash App or maybe even Venmo at Lenny Love Jr. L E N N Y L O V E J R. That's a little song that I wrote right here. Though. It's called Flirty Friends. So that was Lenny Love Jr. I don't know him, I just ran into him, but uh, you know, we all try to help each other. So give him a tip. Whew, man, I got, just got all emotional. All right, so basically, you know, as, as artists, like we're all just trying to figure these things out, you know, just trying to get, get by in this world and um, all the things like, you know, the, the tips and the likes and, the, and the, the thank yous and all that kind of stuff, it all helps because, you know, obviously I have like 2,800 followers on this YouTube channel, you know, yes, I've done some movies. I am by no means making any money from any of them. So it's like, this is a way to move on in this world so if you can help somebody out you can help them out so that'd be great and uh so yeah so where are we we are at the waddles mansion and what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go above it to where the japanese garden is so i'm gonna show you how to do that all right so so basically so this is the driveway that we were just on so we just walked up from the front front yard and this is the driveway that goes out onto the street so what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk out of the Waddles Mansion and up this street and I will show you how to get to the garden. By the way, this is a beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. You have to have more than $500 
in order to pay rent here, I'm sure of it. Look at that place up there. It's got like 59 bedrooms or something like that. Yeah, because you need all those. You need them. But just gorgeous places. Orange trees. All right, let's go see what street this is that we turned. So we're not actually gonna get to this next street because where we're going is right here, which is the Waddles Garden Park. So you can look that up and see, uh, see what there is there, Waddles Garden Park. But uh, yeah, so this is where the Japanese garden is up in here. It's a little bit of a hike. Lots of things that you shouldn't do. It's common sense. Avoid rattlesnakes. So I, I would definitely take that advice. And there's plenty of dogs here. So that's cool too. Hey doggy. All right, so basically the trail begins right here. So that's where we just were over there. Those people with the dogs. And we're gonna go up these, this trail of stairs, a concrete stairwell. Now, these pillars here used to have a roof on them, which was a wooden roof a long time ago, which has since, time takes care of all things. And it also took care of this wooden roof that is no longer here. Whew. All right, yeah, this is quite the little hike. Uh, you get your 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 stair stairmaster workout. It's been raining quite a bit here recently, so that's why these sandbags are here. So basically, water would come down here and into this little thing right there, and into the park. So cool. All right, Kyle, where are we? So we are at the top of these long cement stairs, coming into. The old Japanese garden. You can tell this place has been here for a long time because see the shingles are all basically super old and that's probably why the rest of those roofs down there are no longer there. So see sandbags it keeps things from eroding. the Japanese garden third eye trail I think weather weather has taken a lot of stuff that was here away but uh, you can see all the new plants that people are putting in bringing it back to the way that it used to be there used to be a bench I think it was right here. Used to be a bench right there. That tree probably didn't help it. Yeah, so it looks like people are trying to trying to bring this back to the way that it used to be. Oh, I see. They just moved the bench. The bench is farther down, but you can see that the bench needs help. I doubt it will ever get the help that it needs. Maybe someone will bring in a new bench. So yeah, this is like a, just a cool place to come up and hang out with some, some peace and quiet. Do a little, a little meditation if you want. Now I know that right over here is like super steep. So we're gonna go there <laughs> because that's what we're doing. So, yeah, I got your little trail. This is the, the Ohm spot. Here's your little Buddha. Hey Buddha. All right, you're coming up with me. So yes, this is very steep, but that's okay. I've been training for this my whole life. This is another little little meditation spot. 
people leave like offerings and, and stuff like that for the ancestors. All right, so not sure exactly how I'm supposed to go up, but we're going up this way. That was probably a shortcut that I just took. And you took it with me because we're all in this together, people. Okay. Now this is really, this is really steep in case you were wondering. So let's see right there. What is that? That is the third eye hike. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's see. How can I show you how steep this is? Um, let's see, the camera is straight. So, I don't know. Yeah, see that? It's right there. That, I don't think you can really tell, but it's very steep. All right. Okay, so there's a little trail that goes up that way. That was a raven. Okay, so we're going up to our right over here. Holy cow. I'd never been up this high. So, okay. Here's here's where we where we were, right down there. That's the, the garden, the Japanese garden. You can see that sure. We're right now, 50 feet up now. 50, 60, 70, I don't know. Okay, we're just, we're keeping on going because I've never been up here. And I don't know what we're gonna see, but there's a trail. Whoa, whoa. Okay, everything's fine, everything's fine. Oh, wow. Holy cow. Whew. Oh, it's a little rabbit, a little tiny rabbit. I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. Okay. Yeah. Holy cow. Okay. All right. You see that? Goes up there. Oh, jeez. Okay. I don't know. What do you think? Should we do it? Okay. All right. All right. You said, you said, let's do this. So, you know. Pardon my breathing, but being a human being, we need oxygen. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Well, it seems like, okay, let's just keep going. So this is directly in front of me and that's where the trail goes so let's see if i can do this with one hand okay okay all right okay all right you know what For safety reasons, I'm not going to do that. Carrying a camera in one hand, I'm not going to climb that. So, but let's turn around. Look at that. So, that out there, that's Century City. I don't know, maybe that's Beverly Hills, and that's Century City down there. But uh, regardless, it's Hollywood, it's that direction. And kind of on the horizon, you can see beyond there, where there is no land, that's the ocean. Because the ocean doesn't have land, unless it's an island. But there's, there's no islands out there, so it's just the ocean. See, just like that. All right, my friends, I know it looks sunny right now, but rain is coming, so. It is time for me to not be on this hill before it starts raining. So, 
Thank you so much for coming along with me. Remember, this is all about independent film, and that's why I do this YouTube channel. So if you would please support me and independent film and the ongoing of creators, that would be fantastic. So the chair, the Roddy Piper, zombie with a shotgun, we shot in New York, Preacher 6 with Carmen Argenziano, who is no longer with us, who are all done with, because of you, because of the audience, because of indie film, indie film supporters and patrons and that, that kind of thing. Those films would not have happened without the support of independent film fans. So thank you so much to everyone that pitched into any of those along the way. If you're watching this, thank you. And uh, we keep going. So I'm going to get off of this mountain and do all the things like subscribe, join the channel. I'll see you in the next video.